and I want to talk to you about how to engage transversus abdominis. Last time we discovered that transversus abdominis is the deepest layer of your abdominals. This is a muscle that wraps around the front of the body and connects into the back, into the thoracolumbar fascia. It creates that compression on the abdominal cavity that creates the flat tummy appearance, but really also supports the position of the lower back and pelvis. So we discovered this in the last video where we discussed the different layers of the abdominals. Today I would like to show you how you can know that you're engaging transversus abdominis and which are little exercises that can help you to just feel this muscle engage. What we look for when it comes to transversus abdominis engagement is a widening and flattening of the tummy. And you can, for example, try testing this in a seated position, simply cross-legged, bring your hands to the tummy, inhale, feel the ribcage expand, and as you exhale, feel the abdominal wall moving in and the ribs moving down. Inhale, and as you exhale, through your mouth, close the ribs and pull the abdominals in. So there's a definite widening and flattening of the tummy. That is your transversus abdominis muscle engaging and creating that compression as if an internal waist belt was narrowing your waist and flattening the tummy. In Pilates, we have a lot of exercises that use forward flexion of the spine. These exercises are a great way to target the abdominals and they are safe to do for those that don't have osteopenia or osteoporosis. When you do a forward flexion, make sure that the abdominal wall continues contracting with transversus abdominis compressing the abdominal cavity. So if you see the belly sort of bulging out in the middle, it's a sign that rectus abdominis has taken over and transversus abdominis isn't working as much as we hope to see it work. We can also test transversus abdominis engagement in a four-point kneeling or quadruped position. And what's challenging is that to work with transversus abdominis really takes some conscious effort. It's easy to do the movements without that engagement. And this is really the secret to that flat appearance of the abdominals um, that uh, Pilates promises to give you. Um, the good thing is that the lumbopelvic region gets so nicely stabilized. Transversus abdominis engagement really helps those who have lower back issues, who have too much tension in the shoulders, even those with hip issues. It just helps to create more strength and it allows you to create more supported movement patterns. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for showing up week by week and watching these videos. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm really just a few subscribers away from hitting 100. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I also look forward to new questions. It's so exciting for me to have this conversation with the people that I teach and answer questions with these videos. Thank you. See you in the next video.